Uh, so this morning I thought I'd go onto YouTube and see what my recent view counts are and see if I got any interesting comments. Uh, a lot of my after action review knowledge gain, lessons learned, comes from the comments. Uh, sometimes the comments can be as entertaining as the video themselves, sometimes more so. Wow, uh, I don't get a lot of views. Uh, my most recent video got an extraordinarily high view count in such a short time. Uh, this is not my norm. Uh, let's scroll down and see what my norm is. Uh, you'll see a lot of uh, double digits in the view counts, 40s, 70s. <laughs> uh, you see a few out there that's over a thousand. Uh, those are what I consider high. I know if you follow the uh, professionals, uh, that's nothing. They get hundreds of thousands of views. Um, I, I haven't figured out exactly what. I noticed my political stuff doesn't get much attention. I've noticed the stuff that I'm really long-winded or there's no action doesn't get a lot of attention. Uh, attention getters, uh, sadly, it's uh, people love to watch cops be uh, embarrassed. The uh, the one-off, the one that's really surprisingly high was uh, Crosshawk Audit Becomes Classic First Amendment Audit. I think the right professional auditor <coughs> got this and subbed it a lot, uh, re reposted it elsewhere, uh, but I think... Uh, an MP named Sergeant Lewis uh, had an embarrassing position, and I think this got a lot more views than my norm. But it's not my norm. Uh, uh, very few even go over 2,000. Best as I can tell, what audiences like the most, the kind of audiences that check this kind of stuff out, are cops embarrassing themselves, or auditors embarrassing the cops. That is not my mission. That is not my goal. I am blessed to have some very good police forces in my area. Uh, even when I go up to New York State, uh, some pretty decent police forces when it comes to respecting our rights. Um, uh, but I'm not here to embarrass the cops, uh, unless they're bad cops. Uh, uh, but there's very few of those here. Now when it comes to these videos and their view counts, uh, I don't know really what gets high view counts versus low view counts. I get it. People don't like my politics. Most people who uh, who are into this sort of thing, uh, the freedom of a person to record in public, the First Amendment audit stuff, it's mostly libertarian, and I have a, a strong left-wing um, uh, slant or bias, if you will. Uh, so my the audiences who like this kind of stuff aren't real big on my politics. Uh, sorry, my politics are what they are. Um, it's uh, it's part of my life. Uh, so, you know, either unsubscribe or, or, or deal with it. <clears throat> um, people like stuff that's brief, get right to the point. Uh, people don't seem to like... Uh, I, spent a, I used to spend a lot of time zooming in on sidewalks, utility wires, fire hydrants, street signs with county or state stickers on them to show that I am in public. Um, and I do a lot of panning where, you, you know, the, the camera's not very stable as you go from one subject to the next. Um, I, I cut all that stuff out now to keep it brief. Um, people like videos under 15 minutes. Um, and this one might go over, I don't know, but uh, sadly people really love to see cops embarrassed. Um, I don't go out there to embarrass cops. In fact, I go out there... Uh, fully expecting the police to uh, not hinder me or back what I'm doing up. Uh, most of the time they do. A couple of uh, one-off bad uh, uh, examples where that didn't happen. But uh, um, e excitement. Briefment and excitement and uh, a lot of jittery. Uh, take out the jittery stuff. One of my early videos where I did Adrian at Vienna Arsenal, uh, I didn't have very good stabilization, and it looked like I was shaking like a leaf on a tree. Uh, that's not good for the audience. Uh, so, why did this one get so high so soon? Let's look at the comments and see what the uh, audience says. Everyone has an opinion. Uh, sometimes they're valuable, sometimes they're not. But uh, I can learn a lot from the comments. Sometimes just what these people are thinking. Or uh, I can get a little pat on the back, or, or I can get some criticism. Uh, and if the criticism is constructive, I have to you know dig in a little bit deeper and see. Uh, I've learned something. If it's silly, I'll make fun of it. All right, Triple H wants to know why I why delete comments. I don't. 
I don't delete comments. Um, it used to be uh, a long time ago I would delete comments to keep it clean, to keep it within the uh, community standards of the same. Uh, but uh, I evolved over the last couple years to, if someone says something stupid or embarrassing, I leave it out there for them to enjoy, for others to see what stupid thing they said. If you have a comment that you posted and it's no longer there in the last 18 months to two years, I'm not really sure when I got to this point, um, <clears throat> either you deleted it or YouTube community standards enforcers deleted it. I have deleted no con comments on, uh, on my YouTube videos since... Uh, Gosh, I can't remember the last time. I, I really allowed myself to be offended by someone. Uh, look, when I video people, mostly I'm focusing on people who engage me. Sometimes I do passers-by. Uh, sometimes the B-roll catches a lot of people in the background. But if your face is right up there in uh, the video, it's because you came to me and you engaged me. And if that's the case, you are random. Most people out there ignore the camera. The very, very few, the small percentage that come up to the camera are black, white, Muslim, Christian, fat, skinny, old, young, male, female, uh, LGBTQ, whatever. I'm not picking on any group. Uh, I am picking on uh, people who have the mentality to confront the camera or pleasantly uh, say hello to the camera, whatever the case may be. Uh, and when I first started doing this, people who would make comments about someone's uh, race, religion, body composition, etc., I'd, I'd, uh, I'd delete them. Now I leave it out there so the people who try to fat shame or black shame or, or uh, uh, where they work shame, I leave it out there so that other people can see that these people have the low mentality to shame people based on, on, on these things that a person really has very little control of. What they do have control over is whether they confront the camera or not. So, no Triple H, I didn't delete any of your comments. I'm not sure where you're getting that from. All right, same, oh, I thought Triple H looked familiar. He commented last night when I was editing or before I edited this video. He's the subject, he's just one of the first subjects in the video I'm uh, AARing right now, after actually reviewing right now. Uh, he is the, uh, the gentleman who uh, came up to me uh, and asked me a few questions and I, I grunted at him trying something new. Uh, and he wants to know why I fast forward uh, through his conversation. Um, well, Triple H, uh, I'm, I'm not real good at editing. But uh, this is what we call a, what I call a catcher. Uh, if you go to the end of the video, our full conversation is there. And I think I alluded to that in the video when I uh, dubbed you out uh, with my uh, over voice. Um, I go on to the back of the uh, video. Uh, watch the whole thing before you judge. Uh, you have contempt prior to investigation. Watch the whole video. I can understand. We'll get back to this guy uh, later on. Uh, actually, it turns out okay. Uh, that was near the beginning of the video. Uh, I tie it up in the end. Scroll all the way back. Wait for it. Wait for it. And there is the full conversation. I, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't cut you out, Triple H. You're the star of the Today Show. But we also have the right to know why. I frequent this McDonald's, and I'm just wondering if you know if I'm going to be part of a anti-fast food campaign. I can understand that. <laughs> but uh, no, no, it's just desensitization to cameras. Say that again. Desensitization to cameras. Well, I mean they're everywhere nowadays. Yeah, you know, exactly. And they're for our safety. But my question is, why are you out here filming? Just to desensitize people to cameras. And what does that accomplish? Uh, it makes people more comfortable with cameras at school buses where uh, cars drive by with the stop sign oh, sure. up. sure. And in Unique, where we shop to yeah. make sure nobody's stealing or if there's an accident, you know, yeah. they can find out how it It happened. makes people comfortable with cameras in banks. Well, uh, yeah. Where there those, might be a robbery. And those all make yeah. sense. Yeah. And, and again, you're doing something legal, but why this McDonald's and today? I mean, oh. you're desensitizing people from cameras. If you go to uh, YouTube, 
I'm out there all the time. And you look up a guy named David Finkel, F-I-N-K-E-L. Is that you? That's me. Uh, you will see, but that's what I do. I go banks, post offices, fast food restaurants. It's nothing against McDonald's at 3009. Well, whatever, yeah. It's, uh, it's just to get people desensitized to gambling. Fair enough. All right. All right. You have a good day. <laughs> all right. Oh yeah, Triple H is a bit of a comet hog today. Uh, what is this? Oh, no, 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 intimidating. I, I don't intimidate people. Um, people may choose to be intimidated. I'm not suspicious. People may choose to be suspicious of me. Um, I don't uh, assault, attack, confront. Um, I just passively stand there with the camera. It may or may not point at you or in your general direction. I engage nobody uh, when I'm doing this. However, people do engage me, and when they engage me, I'm trying various things. The silent treatment where I, the silent treatment where I don't say anything. Uh, in this video, I tried the grunts and the shh. Um, uh, most of my subjects who got the shh found it funny. Even the highly educated chief of security at Fairfax County Public Schools Board of Education, he, he kind of giggled and he realized, okay, this is, this is a kind of a joke as aware uh, as also as awareness campaign. And he never came back out. He kind of played the joke on me. We'll be right back out. And they never came back out. Waste a lot of my time. Intimidate. If you feel intimidated, that's an internalized choice of feelings, um, which, by the way, is part of the reason why I'm out here. You see a camera, you feel intimidated, you should not feel intimidated. Unless you are doing something wrong, there is nothing to fear of the camera. Unless you are, like, uh, robbing a bank, uh, committing a crime. Uh, you could also be intimidated if you're holding your ID card or social security card or credit card out towards the camera uh, so that I'm focusing on that but honestly uh, I'm not going to see that from how far was that 20 yards away uh, I even this video I did a bank I did a couple people doing transactions at an ATM and a couple people doing transactions at the teller window I got no privacy information from any of them uh, I got a face I got a license plate I got a funny look. Intimidation. Now, uh, if you see a camera out there, you choose to be intimidated. Now you can go through McDonald's drive through and when you're uh, giving them your credit card and there's a camera right there at eye level in your face, you don't have to be so scared. Because who's controlling that camera and those videos? Low wage employees. People are just barely making over minimum wage. Intimidation. No, I'm sorry. If you felt intimidated, that's your own snowflakey gut reaction. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of uh, <clears throat> validation, a lot of people patting me on the back. Uh, oh, uh, well, not everyone. Um, yes, I'm aware that my editing, the volumes of the different subjects and my over voice and the traffic behind me and wind gusts. Um, there is a limit to my equipment uh, and, and to my editing skill. I don't have one of these editing softwares with uh, a thousand point equalizer where I can cut out certain sounds or, or minimize certain sounds. Uh, and I am limited in my skill. So yes, that is something I've uh, read before and I do have to take into account how to get a nice even voice. Sorry about you ripping your headphones out of your ear. Badge 20. Okay. Um, child in an adult body. Yeah, my, my, my sweetie, my girlfriend tells me that all the time or something uh, similar to it. Uh, nothing more than the usual immature, unemployed, uneducated, childish routine of a fake and fraud Con man, fraud, con man. Um, wow. Okay, one at a time. Amateur, can't deny it. Unemployed. Uh, <laughs> it's amazing how folks will judge 
people based on very little knowledge. Uh, some people judge a person for being black, or some people judge a person for being fat. Some people are judging me for having time to go out there and have a hobby that I enjoy. I have a job that I love. I have a job that I love that uh, affords me the opportunity to do this in daylight hours. I work nights, dumbass. Uh, I work uh, 40 hours a week without overtime. I get a lot of overtime. I almost posted a pay statement to show just how much I make, uh, but I realized, oh, I have uh, co-workers who sometimes watch this, and um, our company has a policy. We don't tell each other how much we make, so I'm going to back away from that. But let's just say a guy who's 58, roughly the same age as the star of today's show, uh, Triple H, uh, has the money to drive to these various locations and hold a $1,200 camera with a $300 body camera mounted under it and another $300 body camera mounted to his chest and a uh, $250 uh, camera in my goggles. Uh, you'll see some of my videos. Uh, so... Um, if you really think I'm unemployed, damn, you must be against uh, uh, public assistance because they're paying me pretty damn good. The truth is my employer pays me pretty damn good. Uh, so if you want to judge me for being unemployed uh, while calling me immature and childish, guess what? You're immature and childish. Um, fraud. I... I I did see something else about fraud. Stay tuned. I'll go into uh, the fraud con man bit in a bit. Uh, this video served absolutely no purpose other than to show how juvenile these rejects of society are. Okay. Oh, oh make three or four dollars. I am not monetized. My YouTube activity gets me zero dollars. It costs me quite a bit of time and money. Um, but if I am pathetic for doing this, and you are familiar with what I'm doing and watch enough of it, Jeez, uh, badge 203. Um, look in the mirror. We'll get back to the fraud one, another comment I saw. <laughs> we all use the same script. <laughs> Well, it must be you uh, watch enough of these that you're, you know, if you think something's pathetic and you keep watching it, what does that make you? Anyway. Uh, it's not fast food, it's not banks, it's not military gates, it's uh, a very small number of people uh, who react this way. Uh, most people ignore the camera. Hours and hours of video and only a few moments of uh, entertainment. Alright, for the sake of time, I'm going to stop digging for it. Somewhere in here I saw uh, a term that I've seen many times in comments uh, for these things, uh, fraudator. Uh, fraud, uh, a wrongful or criminal deception intended in the result of financial or personal gain. Uh, first of all, I'm not uh, monetized. I make no money off of this. Uh, and what I'm doing is not criminal. I'm not deceiving anyone. I may be omitting... Uh, answers. If you ask me questions and I refuse to answer, you want to know who I am, I don't want to tell you. Uh, but that's not a criminal deception. Uh, or a person or a thing intended to deceive others. I, I'm not deceiving. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'd like to know what you mean by fraudator. 
uh, or when you say I'm committing fraud, I'm just standing around with a camera and uh, responding to people who engage me, period. Uh, again, for the sake of time, I'm going to cut this short because I'm already way over my 15 minute limit. Uh, but it is an after action review, so I can take my time if I want to. I really don't expect this to get a lot of views. I hope Triple H and uh, Badge 203 was it? Uh, I hope they uh, they see my responses to their comments. Um, I do have a regular viewer who wants me to get back to Akquan. Um, Triple H about an hour ago from night, about probably around 8:30 uh, wants to know. Uh, Please post where you be appearing next. Well, back to my Akaquan uh, uh, fan. Um, yes, I am going back to Akaquan eventually. Uh, and Triple H, uh, I'm not going to say when. And I'm not going to tell you where I'm going. If you see my video about the Border and Protection Patrol, um, someone tipped them off that I was coming. And I got no reaction. You could tell the guard was like gritting his teeth. He really wanted to react, but he was reminded, hey, there's First Amendment auditors out there. He can do what he's doing, um, and you can't do anything mean and nasty to him. Uh, I think that would have been a great video if they weren't tipped off. I'm pretty sure they were tipped off because these types uh, do uh, almost always react. Uh, check out my military gates and my government buildings. Um, anywho, uh, Triple H and my Akaquan friend, uh, when I'm going where I do not, if I can avoid it, break OPSEC, Operational Security. Uh, if I show up at your office building or at your bank or at your favorite fast food joint or uh, when you're visiting a military base, uh, it's random. And uh, the best way to gauge human nature to do this social experiment is for people not to be expecting you. Um, so, uh, when I return to Akakwan, I do believe the last few times I went to Akakwan for their speed trap, they knew I was coming. Um, and they, they folded up their speed trap and kind of vanished into the woodwork. A couple hours after I left, boom, they're back out there again with their speed trap. Um, it's, it's really best uh, if people just don't know when and where I'll, uh, I'll be showing up. And I am uh, going to say goodnight now uh, because it's a beautiful day and I'm going somewhere, somewhere out there, a unsuspecting person is going to react to a camera and eventually be desensitized. And somebody out there do me a solid, start watching my political stuff. It's educational. Come on, man. Give me a break.